Peggy 3. Hello everyone, my name is Miles Jacobson. I'm Studio Director at Sports Interactive, who are the development team responsible for the Football Manager series of games. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about Football Manager 2011, which will be out before Christmas. We're very pleased with the fact that we've got more new features than ever before. And what I'm going to do today is just go through a few of the highlight features and then we'll be revealing more over the coming months. The first thing that I'd like to talk about from Football Manager 2011 is the new contract negotiation system that we have in place. We first put agents into the game in FM 2005 and they're still there, but we've expanded upon that a lot more in Football Manager 2011 and we have lots of different agent types now inside the game. Now, these agent types negotiate contracts in different ways. So you might get some agents who'll come to you with a complete blank page for negotiations. You might get others that come to you with far too high demands, um, or some that are a little bit more sensible. There's five different types all in all. And we've worked with a bunch of agents and chief executives from inside football to not only come up with the characters themselves and the, the types of uh, agent that you have, but also to come up with a host of new contract clauses. For example, you can now um, offer to give players bonuses if they make it into the team of the year. You can offer them minimum fee release clauses if a big European club comes in for them and those kinds of things. There's, uh, there's about a dozen, I think it is, new contract clauses in there. But also the way that you negotiate deals is now very different. Um, it's not a case of you make an offer send a fax essentially is, is how the way it used to be in the game. In the real world that's not really how it's done, it's either done on the phone or face to face sitting in a room and you negotiate it there and then and then the player will go away and decide whether he wants to join after you've come to some kind of agreement on terms. It might be that another club offer him better terms in the meanwhile and they might come back to you or they might decide to just take it there and then but it's all done on a conversational basis, which is something that's actually spread throughout a lot of the game this year. An area of the game that's been a little bit neglected over the last few years has been the training side of things. Um, this is because simply we hadn't got any better ideas of how we could improve it. But obviously uh, things change over the years and we've had lots of requests from people to change uh, the way that training works and lots of really good ideas on our forums as well. So we sat down and looked at absolutely everything to come up with a system that, uh, that we're really happy with and we think will work very well. For a start we've made it a bit, uh, a bit easier for people to use whilst also being more in depth. So you've got 14 extra areas that you can train players in rather than just having the general category. There are 14 other presets. But we also have a new match preparation section, which is something that, that we never dealt with very well before. And this allows you to train your players in specific formations. It also allows you to focus training on a particular area. So, for example, if, if you're like me and play the game by making loads of transfers right at the start of the game, this will actually allow you to try and encourage your team to blend together um, whilst you're preparing for matches. A really important part of being a football manager is to be able to effectively interact with your players and your board, as well as being able to play mind games with other managers. And with Football Manager 2011, we've had a complete revamp in this area. So as well as lots of extra options um, of, of ways you're able to interact, we also have private conversations which you're able to use with your own players. There have been far too many times in the last couple of versions when I've been sitting there playing the game and one of my players has become unhappy and there's been absolutely nothing that I can do about it. Now at least there are options for you to be able to discuss with the player. You might not be able to make them happy again, but at least it gives you the chance to try. There are also more things that you can ask the board about. Um, for, as an example of that, if you can't build any more seats in your stadium because you can't get planning permission, you can now request a new stadium. You can also ask for a higher percentage of the uh, revenues that come in from transfers um, to actually put towards your transfer budget. And again, it's just trying to make the game feel more immersive. A few years ago, we changed the way that the news and uh, inbox worked inside the game we basically split the two screens separately from one another because there was so much news from around the world coming through inside the game. That worked 
quite well for what we were trying to do, but unfortunately had the knock-on that people found that they didn't feel as immersed inside the game world anymore as they had done previously. So what we've done this year is made big improvements to the subscriptions area and what you can um, subscribe to and unsubscribe to. And we've merged the new screen and the inbox screen back together. It has a whole new look. It's very clear um, when something needs to be responded to or when you can just flick past something. It's also much easier to, uh, to subscribe um, and unsubscribe to new. So you really can configure the whole world to be the way that you want to. There's also an extra module that's been written this year um, to make the news even more in situ. And this is something that's seen throughout the whole game. Now what, what this does is basically looks at all of the possibilities of league places before and after matches and uses these inside the news items. So what's new in the match engine and the match viewer for Football Manager 2011? as well as an improved match engine and lots of mesh improvements, that's for players, crowds and stadiums. Um, we've also added an emotion engine into the game and you'll be able to see players celebrating and getting upset as well as appealing for various different things. But rather than hearing me prattle on about it, here's some footage. The final, final feature um, is something that is probably the most requested feature that we've had on our forums um, for the last 20 years, I think, since, since, we started, since we started making football management games. So I'm delighted to be able to reveal that Dynamic League Reputation has finally made it into a, into a sports interactive title. This will mean that if you take on a club in a less fancied nation, say, maybe a nation that haven't done that well in European competitions in the past, and you take that club to glory, um, you will find the reputation not just of your club, but of your whole league will raise. And over time, better players will join you, um, better players will want to come and play in your country. And it's very important um, for us to get that right in the game, and we won't ever going to allow this feature to happen until we were happy um, with the way that it was working. And now we are. Thank you very much for taking the trouble to, to watch this video today to find out a little bit about what's coming in Football Manager 2011. There's still a lot more to announce, as I mentioned earlier, so you can find the rest of the information either by looking at the official website, footballmanager.com, by following us on Twitter, at SI underscore games, Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash official football manager. And there'll also be a series of blogs which will go into a lot more detail for the features, both the stuff that we've announced today and the features that are forthcoming. Oh, and on top of that, there's also the Football Manager podcast, which restarts this week, should be available to download this weekend from iTunes.